Hello and welcome to another video. On this video, we're gonna talk about how can we get products uh, from Shopify. I'm gonna open up the Shopify product API page. Uh, how can we get products basically from a store using the API? And we're using Node.js uh, to accomplish this on the back end. So that's what we're gonna be talking about. It's really quick, it's not a long video, but get to the point is all you need to do is submit a get to this URL. Well, this is the slash admin products.json. Uh, if you click on it, it tells you that you can submit uh, or include uh, these variables in the URL so you can filter your data. But on this video, I'm just gonna uh, call it without any filters which is just like this so hopefully when we submit we'll get a reply back from Shopify with this values obviously this is not the product that I have in the test um, store that I have as you can see here I only have uh, two products I just made up these products um, there's nothing special about it just the type description uh, basic information basically price and the SKU. so that's the whole point of this uh, video how can I get this via the API using node.js so if we look at what I'm running in the background I have nodeman running nothing special on it and I'm using ng rok um, app or executable so we can open up port 3000 to the public on that URL so obviously at this point you need to have a token but to get a token you need to watch the previous video uh, that I posted this week but if we get down to how can I get the products basically here I have a, a basic route and we're gonna go to app products and we're gonna pass in the URL we're gonna pass the shop as you can see here that's what I'm pulling you can change this change this any way you you like but just to keep it simple we're gonna pass the shop on the URL and we're gonna pull this shop just to build this URL and then we're gonna be using request to submit the get to that URL uh, we're using JSON true our headers need to include your token if your headers do not have the X dash Shopify dash access dash token and the token from the store you're gonna target is not gonna work so as you can see here we're gonna parse the value and return 200 and if not uh, I can return a different value here. We can return 500 if we need to. But this is just to test, so it doesn't really matter right now. So, okay, so we're gonna try it out. So I'm gonna minimize this uh, VS Code, open up this guy, and I'm going in here. So as you can see, I'm using the uh, public URL it really doesn't matter for testing you can use this or localhost 3000 it'll still work so uh, as you can see that's my route Shopify app slash products and I'm passing the store so you need to change this on your side make sure you you type your store and make sure you're you have the right token okay so if I refresh this guy I'm gonna make this window smaller because we really don't need it what we need is to view this guy so I'm gonna move it on this side and hit refresh and we should see the products here so as you can see we got a JSON back we got you have an object or an array which is products and you see this bracket it means that we have an array and we have one item here for example and it stops here and then we have another product that starts here 
So now you can see how easy it was to pull products from Shopify using Node.js. So obviously you can you have to loop through this products array and then you can get the title, the vendor, uh, anything, any other value that you want, including images or variants. In this case, uh, I don't have any, oops, I don't have any variants on this products. Oops, we can open up this one. It's just a plain old skew. Uh, let me scroll down as you can see there's no variance so well let's see if, if if I delete this image for example I'm gonna delete it now as you saw here the images it's an object so now I'm gonna refresh this page uh, I'm gonna go here and refresh and we'll see what else we get now like what what has changed so as you can see here, this product, product two, or computer two, now the images, as you see, it's an empty array. The bottom product has an object, so we have some values in there. So that's how you know that you're actually calling or getting live fee from Shopify uh, using the code. So just to go back, make sure that you download or clone this project so you can, uh, see this code so all it takes is uh, URL the options that we're passing and the request that, that's all you have to do now obviously from here the parse body that I have here this variable uh, that we're getting back obviously you need to parse that guy uh, let me see so you have to parse that JSON as a regular JSON and then you'll get everything else so in the next video I guess I'll just go through how you can save this into MongoDB maybe. But the main point was to show how you can call uh, Shopify with Node.js and get the products, okay? Thank you for watching and subscribe. Thank you.